Hey guys, so welcome to today's video, which as from the description bar you know is a review and a lip swatch on the new MAC liquid lipsticks. So as some of you may or may not be aware, MAC have finally decided to come out with their own version of the liquid lipstick. I think these came out either at the end of December or the beginning of January. And I think they came out with 15 new retro matte liquid lipsticks, which are all permanent. So I finally got my hands on seven out of the 15 colors. And these are the colors that I thought I wanted to try and will probably suit me the most. So I've been trying and testing these out for the last week for you guys, so I could give you my honest opinion on them. So I'll first show you the lip swatches of all seven shades that I own, and then I'll tell you what I think about them after that.
I mentioned, I got seven out of the 15 shades. So I've got some negatives and positives to say about these. So I think my biggest negative with these are the retail price. So here in the UK, the retail price of these are actually 23 pounds per liquid lipstick. So a normal MAC lipstick goes for 15.50, whereas these have been charged at 21 pounds, which I actually think is a bit overpriced. In the US, I think they go for approximately $23. So I have no idea why in the UK here they're going for 21 pounds, which for me personally, I think is a bit steep. For example, a dose of colors, which is probably one of the top rated liquid lipsticks you can get regarding formulation and staying power and longevity. Those go for, um, I think, £14.50 you can get them in on Beauty Bay here in the UK. I would have been happy to pay between £17 to £18 pounds for these. I just think MAC have got the pricing wrong. So another thing that I don't actually like about these is actually the packaging itself. Um, I don't know, there's just something about this packaging that I don't like and that's just a personal preference. I think they could have just done such a nicer job with the packaging um, and it's not my favourite but that's just that's just a personal preference and there might be a lot of you that actually like it. So out of the seven shades that I got, two of the shades didn't really work for me and they were Lady Be Good and Rich and Re Restless, Rich and Restless, which were the two lightest shades um, that I have in my collection. The first one, which is Lady Be Good, is that peachy nude color. And I know this is one of the most popular um, colors for these liquid lipsticks and it sells out all the time. I think the nudes that they've released, they're all on the peachy side, so I'm a bit disappointed in that. I, I really wish they had released a, like a mauve brown pinky nude, which I think suits my skin tone. Um, a lot better. Also my biggest problem with Lady Be Good was that when it dried it sh it went into every single line and crack that I had in my lips. Um, I tried to fix it by adding another coat but that didn't work either and any lipstick that goes into all my cracks and lines in my lips is a big no-no for me so unfortunately Lady Be Good just does not work for me. My problem with Rich and Restless was the fact that I found it really streaky. Um, I know a lot of people think that this is one of the most opaque ones out there but for me personally and for my lips this just did not work for me. I absolutely love the colour. I just found it really streaky and really, really difficult to work with. Whereas the other five I found really easy to work with and they weren't streaky and they were really opaque. So compared to the others, I found Rich and Restless um, difficult to work with. So those were the negatives that I have and I want to talk to you about the positives. So I really, really, really loved five out of the seven colours that I have. I found them so easy to work with. I love the formulation of these. They're a moussey texture, so they're not that liquid texture. I find them a lot more comfortable on the lips. I don't find them drying at all. I have tested these out. I've been wearing them on and off for the past week and I actually find them really comfortable on my lips. I actually find them even more comfortable than the normal retro matte lipsticks that they have. And these are way more comfortable than a lot of other liquid lipsticks that I own as well. I don't find them drying. Um, most of the time I don't even feel that they're there once they've dried. So I think the formula, I think the formula of these are great. Another positive is that they actually, well, I personally think it's a positive, is that they dry really fast. They literally dry within about 30 seconds. So for me personally, I think that's a good thing as there's certain liquid lipsticks that I own that take so long to dry. And also another great thing about these is that when they do actually dry, they're not tacky at all. So regarding transfer, they don't actually transfer that much because they don't have that tackiness. They transfer very little. So as you can see, so this, so can you see, there's just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of transfer. And I've had these on my lips for just a couple of minutes and that's the only transfer that you get. Regarding longevity of these, I would say you can get a good five to six hours of them. They're not as long lasting as say the Kat Von D ones, but or the Dose of Color ones, but they're still quite good. Obviously that will depend on what you are eating or drinking throughout the day, because if you have something oily, then they are going to come off. But reapplication of these, again, is not a problem. I've reapplied quite a few of these um, over the past week. And as soon as you reapply, it looks really fresh as though you've just put it on. So again, reapplication isn't a problem. So my two favorite ones are O oh Lady and also the, the red that I'm wearing right now, which is Feel So Grand. I think the formulation of them are amazing. They're so comfortable. They're so easy to work with. And I just, I think they're stunning, especially O oh Lady. I have nothing like O oh Lady in my collection. So I'm really happy to have that. And I really, really like it. So overall guys, I do think that MAC have come out with a good liquid lipstick, but I do think that they are overpriced. However, 
If you are a MAC lover or you are a liquid lipstick lover, then I do recommend getting at least a couple of these for your collection. So I hope this video has been really helpful for you guys. And as always guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe and like down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.